What's up, seventh grade math? Help you. <laughs> Hope everything is going well this evening. Miss Newsom can't talk today. Nope. You are super excited because you have your two favorite math teachers here. Oh, no, wait, I'm we sorry. Can't I'm just say kidding. Favorite. We can't say favorite. Green's at a meeting. Yes, I'm sorry, Miss Green. We miss you. We love you. Anyways, we're talking about proportionality today. Um, we've been talking about proportionality with equations, consonant proportionality, um, things like that. We're now moving into proportionality is the same, but more looking at ratios. Yes. So, our learning target. We will be able to express relationships by using ratios and proportions. Please make sure that is written in your journal. Pause if needed. <laughs> Your vocabulary for this week, a ratio. I know you guys have heard this, but we kind of want to talk about it a little more. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities. It's usually written in fraction form. Yeah, there's other ways, but right now you're just going to see it written in fraction form. Yep. A proportion is an equ um, equation stating two ratios are equivalent. Or equal. Or equal. Yeah. Yeah, equal, equivalent. It's Hopefully you know that, yeah. I hope they know that. So it just states that they're equal. So, I mean, you'd have like... Something equals something. So if I have one half equals two fourths, this pen does not work. Which very equals well. eight sixteenths. Which, which equals, equals twelve eight twenty fourths. Which e yes. Yeah. You, we could go on and on forever. It's just this here, an equation which you can go here. One times four equals two times two. Four equals four. It oh. just states. Right. And you guys learned this last year, yes. cross products. That's I what did, you, yeah, sorry. Yes. I, did the, I totally did the cross products. And I mean, I, I put mine here. She likes to Oh, yeah, them. no, and then the two times two. It's yeah. the same thing. They're equivalent. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just what a proportion is. It states that they're equal. Oh. Now, <laughs> we've got, um, we're going to write the rate. Can you just say a that, like, simple five times fast? write the rate. <laughs> Right? Write the, the rate. rate. Try it at home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're writing the ratio out. If you've got $162 for nine tickets, I'm going to put my cost over... This pen doesn't work very well either. The number my of tickets. tickets. Yes. Where's the good one go? So I've got my cost over my tickets. The one I used was just fine. There we go. Sorry, getting a new pen. So we have to keep with the cost on top and the tickets on the bottom. So my cost was 162, and the number of tickets was nine. Nine. So that's all I did to do for writing a ratio. So that's the rate right there? That's the rate. That describes A, nine tickets is $162? That's it. Or $162 is how much nine tickets cost. Yeah. Same thing. Yep. Now, 15 baskets in five minutes for all you new basketball players. Congratulations on making any team if you made one. Yes. We're very proud of you. We'll probably come watch you at some point. Send Shoot us a little them basketballs. Hoops. Yes. <laughs> um, 15 baskets in five minutes. So let's do baskets over, over minutes. minutes. And then because I've already written it out, I know what I'm going to put here. 15 over, over five. five. That's it. That's my rate. Yep. In a rate... Do I have to simplify that? I don't think so. Nope. It's you, just you, you, can. you can. You can because this it works out perfectly. It's a whole number. Yeah. Right? Simplifying it would be do what? I think it would be finding the unit rate. It wouldn't would it? be finding because the unit rate. Because if there's five and you want to know if you're gonna simplify it, dividing the number of baskets yeah. you made by that number will give, give you the unit, unit rate. rate, right? Exactly. She just barged in. She Here barged we go. In. You guys, welcome Miss Green back to our videos. <laughs> um, so that's just writing the rates down. Now we're gonna solve some proportions. Look at that nice basketball. Uh, that beautiful basketball that Miss Newsom totally drew. I She's had to amazing. include that for our basketball. And she did. You should have heard her draw the basketball because you could hear her. Choo, draw. Choo, choo, choo. Okay. It was pretty funny. <laughs> so we're gonna solve this proportion. Fifteen baskets are made in five minutes. How many can be made in one minute? So let's start by writing our ratios. So we're gonna do baskets over minutes. How many baskets did I have? Fifteen. In how many minutes? Five. Five. And I'm looking for what? One. I'm looking for one? No, I'm sorry. You're looking for how many in one. In one so. what? In one. Oh. It just says in one. Probably in one minute. In one minute. <laughs> in one minute. So we're looking minute. That so should I, put it, should I put it up here? No. Your minutes, minutes need to stay minutes on the bottom. Minutes need to stay down here. What should I put here? 
uh, well, you don't know. I don't so know. Many. So could I put a question That's mark? That's a variable. <laughs> Or an X. That's my variable. Um, and I'm going to use my cross products to solve. I draw my little crosses, or as Miss Newsom likes, she draws her circles around them. Either way works. I'm just used to the little. Can cross I do in the, the fishy method? I don't know what the fishy method is. I'll, I'll show oh, you. Oh, yeah, it's the same. Yeah. It's a fishy. Um, so, what is 15 times 1? 15. 15. So, I'm going to write 15 over here. Equals, I'm going to keep my equal sign. What is 5 times x? 5x. Five 5x. Five five x. And I have created an equation. I know you guys are like, but that was simple. I didn't need to do that. I want to see this equation written out. Yep. Do you guys want to see the equation yes. written out? I yes. do. I want Show to see the equation work. written out. Um, now, what am I going to do here? It's an easy one-step equation. It is. So I'm going to? Separate 5 times x by, by dividing. dividing. So I'll divide by 5, x. divide by 5, x equals 3. three. So, so in one minute... You can make three baskets. baskets. Yeah. Awesome. That was pretty cool. Did you want to show us the fish, 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 fishy method? Sure. If you flip it, she can do the next problem. She can do the Let's next do problem. Let's do that. It's the soccer problem, too, man. Oh, great. Okay, here we go. You get to do my sport. There are 20 stitches per panel on a soccer ball, so what are we comparing? We're comparing stitches, stitches to, and panels. to panels. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and write stitches and panels. I don't like this pen. I know. They're just, they're not all working. That one works great. That one does work great. Okay. You missed me changing okay. pens like three times. That's hilarious. Okay. So, soccer ball has three. So, uh, 20 stitches per panel. So, where, where's my 20 going to go? It's going to go on top. It's okay. the stitches. And uh -huh. then. Per on, one per one panel. panel. It says on a soccer. Mm -hmm. so, oh, wait. Per. Sorry. Per, per panel. <laughs> per panel. So, that means it's just one. That would. That was an accident. Okay. And then a soccer ball has 32 leather panels. How many stitches in all are there on a soccer ball? So where am I going to put this 32? It's 32 panels. panels. So it's going to go in the denominator. Okay. So 32 goes here. Here's my X. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for how many stitches in 32 panels. So mm -hmm. I was talking about my little fishy method. This is something I do. Start at your X. You kind of draw your little fish. Do you all see my fish? Oh, my gosh. Your little fish, yes. So you start with the X. You do X times 1 divided by, I'm sorry, X, to, um, no, you start at the 32. 32 times 20 divided by 1, which is the same thing that you were doing, 32 exactly. times 20. Uh -huh. 32 times 20, and I'm still going to write it in your form, okay. so 32 times 20, and then whatever you get, you're going to divide it by your 1, which is... It's just... Dividing by there, one there's is the that same invisible thing. one yes. right here. So if I divide mm -hmm. by one, divide by one, it's the you same get the thing. Same exact thing. same thing that Miss um, Groves is doing. So here we go. 32 times 20. 32 times 20. Ready? Would be 32 six, times six, 20. 640. 640. 640. Yeah. I did that in my head. Good job. I was, there. I was getting there. 640 I was equals I was getting there. X. If the fishy method, like that fish, kind of like confused you, I'll do it more in class. I kind of just did it like this just because that's how I'm used to doing it. Um, but all in all, I still multiply the 30 times 20. Here it is. The 1 times x, here it is. And technically, I and didn't really... And you separate it. You didn't, didn't really have to separate that you, 1 from that x. You didn't because you already had the 1 x. I didn't, but I did. You I did. wanted to show you just because yeah. it's a process. It's, a, it's an algorithm. It's something yes. you're going to do every single time. So if I had a 2 there, I would divide, divide by, by two. 2. But fortunately, it was just a 1, so I didn't really have to divide by the 1. This was just, this was just an extra little step, so I'll go ahead and write that in there. All right. Awesome. That, I think that that's it, it for today. That's hey. I'm, so, I'm so glad I made it. I'm so glad you made it too. You we guys. missed you. We're first, trying to tell first them we were like this because oh, the screen wasn't exactly. here. Exactly. But, but now we're, we're like happy. this. Okay. And we're out. And we're out. Bye.